off of their recent highs, Stuart. And I think that they've had a couple of problems with customer acquisition, with bringing in the TD Ameritrade purchase and some, they had some uh, tech problems earlier in the week. All of these things have driven down the price of a company that is just the house. You always want to bet on the house. And here's a company that's yeah. just turning money over. They don't have to be right. They just have to get volume. They've got plenty of volume, 24 Point eight million accounts running their investing and trading through that company. They are the house is always going to win. I like picking them up on this pullback. You know what worries me, uh, Dr. It is that we get a market, a stock market that is flat for a period of years. I mean, we've got this dip right now. We're going to bounce back maybe and come out to this. If we just have that flat market for years, that really changes uh, the retirement prospects for many people and the investing prospects for many people because the big money will no longer be made in stocks. You're exactly right, Stuart. You may have even seen, seen me give a little whoo when you were talking about that. I remember those exact yeah. periods you're talking about. I remember sitting with you in the studio through one of those periods where we're going, is this thing ever going to do anything but just go sideways and then that time with really low interest rates? So I think at that time, Stuart, we start rotating out of some of these really big names but I don't see the indications of that just yet. Okay, so it's not going to be dead flat for the rest of the decade. Okay, you heard it first right here. Dr. Barden, thank you very much indeed. We will see you again real soon. Okay, we've got about 20, 30 seconds to go before we, this market opens up on this Thursday morning. It has been a period, a week I should say, uh, over a week now, of real intense volatility, white knuckle time. This morning, we're probably going to open on the upside but are we going to be in for another wild swing like we saw yesterday? Yesterday we opened up and closed down. This morning we're opening up and I'm not going to say where we might end the day. But we've pressed the button, the market's open and the Dow is up close to 200 points in the very, very early going. There you have it, up 169. 38.9 is the level. Uh, there's more winners than losers amongst the Dow 30. There you have them on your screen. The S&P 500 also opening to the upside. I want to know the percentage gain there. Uh, the Dow is up almost a half percent. The S&P is up over one percent. How about the Nasdaq Composite? That is also on the upside to the tune of 1.4 percent. Very solid gain. Show me big tech. I presume most of them, if not all, are up. They're all up. Meta, Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft all on the up.